Hey, yes, live. Um, hi, I'm Stretton, and following up from the video I did um, the other night, I was wanted to speak about uh, the placement of pickups um, in the different areas of guitar and how they make a difference. So I'm coming back to the old single coil pickups, and I'm just going to place this one in here. Let's get the amp on to make sure it's working. That's with distortion. So let's first deal with this one. This is the ground that goes under the bridge. You can hear some of the buzz. This is why I've chosen our stock factory single core pickup. It's not unbooking. So now I'm just going to touch this to the ground. You can hear some crackling because I've not soldered it, but that reduces it. So that's what that does, but for this experiment, we are not going to bother. So. So we've got it clean. Now let's have a look at how it alters with the change of the height of the pickup compared to the strings. So I already set this one so it's about in the perfect height, a few millimeters below the strings. So if it's too high, um, it's gonna rattle on the strings. Let's, and if it's too low, let's see, will the signal be weaker? Back up. Okay, cool. So um, the optimal height for the pickup below the strings for this single call, it's just a few millimeters, like the width of the screwdriver head down. If you take it low, of course it still works but it's um, a bit of a weaker signal. So now, how does the pickup sound when you move it around the placement on the guitar? So here, we are because the pickup is quite close to the bridge, we've got... quite a trebly sound. But if we move it up the string scale, it's the same bridge pickup, and now we're putting it in the neck um, pickup position. And we need to lower this down. And there we go. So that's about the same height as the strings were above the pickup in the bridge position. So here, it sounds a little bit more bassy than the treble uh, pickup, and that's because it's closer to the middle wave of the guitar string. So when a guitar string of the such length, uh, like the string on a bow, um, when it vibrates, there is the middle spot. So if you've got the pickup right down here, it's right at the tinny end. Um, and that's the difference of why we have the pickups different areas. Awesome. <clears throat> Let's try that now with another single core pickup alongside. Uh, this again is one of our factory stock pickups. It's the same thing as that. It is the same thing. I've tested it out. Um, this on here, and what I've done here is sold this just via a simple volume switch um, to the input jack. So these two pickups are the same, 
Now I'm going to plug it into this back, this back pickup here. Okay. So overall, there's not a massive difference with these things. It's there just to try and give you an option of a different flavor. So I don't have pickups and just following up from the other day, I wanted to show you some of the other projects I've got going on and some of the other possibilities um, from the pickup combinations. So this is your flying V style blank body. Um, plenty of cavities to work around putting your tone pots in that. Put this one aside for a moment. Of course. You could be using um, SG blank. I've got this one again specifically to put the pickups in and slide out and test out what I'm wiring. That's the ground wire waiting for me to install a loop. While we're at it, same thing. Um, this one's a kind of a Les Paul style blank. I can use this as a like an experimental base. There's the ground wire that I already. Screwed into the front to make sure you use that. Come on. What else? Yeah, I've got a strap thing that I was um, looking at. This one's a project that I can be taking one of these fully loaded boards. So that's two humbuckers and a single core. And you can work on that before you slot it to place on the guitar. But with this one, I think I'm going to go for um, these EMG pickups. So these are three single coil active pickups. Let's here, here, and here. And these are going to be powered by a battery. So we'll see. I might change them around. You never know. I could like take one out and put in just a standard um, P90. I just like that because it's pretty. Um, and that'll work. Or I could go with uh, some kind of like vintage Alnico uh, double thing there. That would also be fine. But I'll come on to that project. So let's quickly have a look at this SG body and see how the humbuckers work with it. Now look at the humbuckers, yeah. <sighs> Go with this one in the bridge and see how that one sounds. And we can compare it to the same thing. It's basically the same thing, just with a chrome cover um, on the front there. Oh, God, it's brilliant. So this is this is just my workbench. So I'm kind of manhandling these guitars and ramming things with just my workbench. All right. The lead. So I'm going to just bridge pick up. These are more powerful in here than the single coils and quieter as well. Let's first uh, neck one. Already you can hear that's like duller, it's got more of a bassy tone. That's why they have this, they call that one maybe the rhythm pickup because it's just for rhythm and then the squealy treble pickup for solos. But really, I could have any com uh, combination of the pickup in there. Um, we got, oh, we've got our old the Tex Mix. Um, or some hot rails. As long as I wire it up right, I can put those in any order I like. So, other than that, there is a couple of other projects which I'll come on to next time. Um, where I've been messing about with some of the electronics inside. So this one, uh, Telecaster blank. Standard Telecaster bridge pickup there. Here, um, I was mounting a set of hot rails and 
here we've got a mini amplifier um, and we can power that with the battery and we've got a switch to turn that on and off and what we can do with that if I power it I've got for this one like two nine volts and then another <laughs> nine volt to drive this front hot rail pickup as a speaker to make it a sustainer for this guitar. Quite complicated, I'll save that for another one. Let's see here, again another flying V with a humbucker and a hot rail. Here I've got another um, SG, this looks like terrifying but um, I was just taping down wires as experimenting. Um, this is an active pickup guitar, same as the EMGs, with a P90 non-active pickup there. So we've got the battery driving that pickup. These these are our potentiometers. I'll just turn them upside down there just to hold it in place while I can try playing it a bit. And also we've got kill switch. So by pressing that, I can like turn the electrics on and off as fast as I like for that kind of funky session. We'll talk about that one another day. Also for anyone um, that saw some of my videos from last year, um, this was one of the ones that oh, I seem to be painting forever in the fluorescent yellow there. Um, now, I've taken it apart again because I've got uh, a seven string EMG active pickup that I'm gonna sling in there in the mix. Um, so that's gonna go there somehow. And this is a seven uh, string guitar. Um, just one of my other projects. Next time, um, I've got a great project to show you about how to make your acoustic guitar an electroacoustic in really easy, I can do it in about five minutes. So that'll be next. Um, please subscribe and thank you very much. Ah, better end it. <clears throat>